said they expected something. So if you're expecting something, you're probably going to get something. But if you didn't come with no expectation, you probably ain't going to get nothing. But uh, this morning is a great morning in God. And thank God for the praise team this morning. They'll be coming in just a minute. But how many really love God and need God's presence this morning? Amen. Come on now. When we say His presence, what are we saying? We're, we're, we're not talking about our presence, even though our presence is in His presence. But His presence changes everything about us. How many believe that? Amen. I don't care what your circumstances are. I don't care if it's job situation, if it's uh, marriage, if it's uh, children, if it's sickness or health. God is always in control of everything. Uh, to a point. Some people say that God is in control of everything. I don't believe God's in control of everything because He's already done everything. You have a part to play in this, whether you believe it or not. You got to do something too. Uh, you know, it's like God says. Some people say, "Well, God's in control." So when the guy, you know, breaks the girl, you can't really prosecute him because God's in control. So that's not true. When the guy robbed the bank. Me and Walt robbed the bank and they, they went to prosecute us and put him in jail and, and, and put us both in jail. And we say, why? Well, you know, God's in control. Come on now. So that don't, don't make sense. But his presence makes the difference in everything in your life this morning. Amen. So everybody in this place this morning needs his presence. And you need to understand what his presence is for. That's Two, on Wednesday night we taught on we taught a Bible study on prayer. Now you sh I wish everybody could have been here because it was it was it, he was in the house. And I already feel his presence because he said, well Wednesday night, he said, since you talk on my presence, I ain't gonna leave. I'll be here Sunday morning when you get here. And, I, and some people say, well that don't make sense. You mean he sat here and waited all day? Yeah. Did he wait from Wednesday to Sunday? Yeah, because he's omnipotent. He ain't got to go to work because he ain't got to sleep and he ain't got to go to crack barrel like I do. You understand? Because his presence makes the difference in your life this morning. Everybody in this place understands something. When his presence comes, you start dying. Now I've said in the format from Wednesday night, when his presence comes, your attitude changes. I'm gonna have to repeat some of this going. We got people that come and you gotta repeat. But we'll repeat it. Especially if the Spirit leads. But in his presence is fullness. In his presence is joy. So we're talking, and I don't know, we should do a series on this. We should get all the ministers and let them just take the presence and come in and share what God has shared with them. And that'd be powerful, wouldn't it? We just might do that. Then everybody just take a one night and say, hey, tell them what you think about his presence. And, and, then, and really make it personal when you understand how his, how this, he can tell me what he, his presence has done with him. But I need to know him for myself. Come on, come on. I can tell you about my experience and how he changed me. I need his presence because that's what's going to count. Because there's a world out there that don't care. There's a world out there that's crazy. You can fix a lot of things, but you can't fix you. I'm like a man this morning on TV, TV. TV, he said this morning, he said, there's a Greek word in the Bible, and it's stupid. It stands for stupid. We got a lot of crazy stuff out here in the world. But that ain't what we're talking about this morning, so we're not going to get into that. We're going to talk about what he's already accomplished. And look, listen, without his presence, you wouldn't even be here this morning. Amen. Now, you, now, some people don't like the way they came. I don't like everything that, that's happened. I don't like a lot of things that's came in my life. But, but guess what? His presence makes it. So if we're getting praise team come this morning, Y'all come while we pray. We get ready to pray. And then we're gonna go into His presence. Now, but listen, listen. Really take a personal. Let's just point at ourselves. Can everybody just point at yourself and say, "I need His presence." I need His presence. Now, when he, if you invite His presence to you, He will speak to you. Without His presence, there's no voice. Do you understand that this morning? Without His presence, there's nothing. 
So this morning, let's just pray. Father, we thank you this morning for the presence. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for what's been said. And up this point, God, and God, we're getting ready to move into the real, the real stuff, the real meat of the Word, and the real meat of praise. And everybody said amen. 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 Welcome to Praise Team. Put your hands together this morning to praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
said, oh, yeah, he looked cute this morning. He's beautiful this morning. He's handsome. He's playing the piano like he, he, you know, he's just getting it. But guess what? He determines when his schedule is. Yes. God's already scheduled. Listen, do you agree with that? Your blessings are on you this morning. But guess what? you got you to find the schedule of God. you got to use your faith so your faith will schedule what God has in your life so you don't miss it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Does that make sense? Now, I can stop right there. We can preach on that. Your schedule, your faith schedule what God wants to happen in your life. How many got faith? Yeah. How many think they got some faith? Yeah. How many been around somebody that think they think they didn't know that they think they did? <laughs> and I can't even say that no more, so I won't even try that. Do you understand that? God has created blessings, but your faith scheduled this. Huh? See, you think God's going to send the blessing through Him, and He can. But God will send your blessing to somebody. Amen. All right. Come on, man. Got to be a person. You understand it? We think God going to drop a pile of money down side our bed and it go, boom. But God already, listen, this morning as we're talking, it's uh, quarter to twelve by my watch in that clock I fixed. I got sick of looking at that clock with no battery. You know? But God already is speaking to somebody to bless me. See, so you need to really take, listen, take, put your hands right here if you can. Say, I'm going to take ownership. So somebody going to bless me. Because so that's somebody already God's talking to. The blessing is mine. Because I'm a kingdom man. I'm a God man. I need somebody just trying to have it. I need somebody just trying to go around trying to find it. There's a blessing. There's a blessing with my name on it. There's a blessing coming to the house. It's going to show up in your mailbox. It's going to show up somewhere. And I will get the blessing. Is there a roof on here? Amen. It's starting to say, now I can't do nothing because there's a fever in the land. He's oh. not God. Now, there's people that, and people say, well, I'm going to have to pay for some stuff, but that's all right. Because God still will fix somebody to help finish it. But God don't stop because something happens in the land. Because guess what? He owns the land. He said, I want a thousand cattle on the hill. Guess what? Let's say it once so I get that state. Oh, With the bacon tail in the side. In the Italian dresses. Let's go on. With the French bread. With the bug in the big cup. Ain't no need to sell for a little cup. Let me say something. God get ready to bless you and you and you and you. Guess what? Don't settle for no less. Come on. If you settle for less, it's going to be your less. So guess what God does? Somebody's always, listen, you know why somebody's going to bless you? Because somebody's observing you. They're watching you. See, they're waiting, they're waiting. Just say, I'm going to observe and see what they do. How they going to act when this situation comes? How they going to act when this happens? How they going to act? Because I'm observing you, and God's allowed them to observe you. You, you know why? Because they are capable of blessing you. Wow, come on. Does that make sense this morning? See, there's people watching me. That, listen, we got Facebook Live. Are we on Facebook this morning? Can people watch it? Good. Watch. Praise God. Listen, I'm talking to the people on Facebook this morning. God has got somebody observing you because they're going to bless you. Come on. Because, see, my faith is already, listen, I done released my faith and it's already working to schedule something. I'm trying to get into his presence. I'm in his presence. I'm just talking about all the stuff that comes in the presence. You understand that? Listen, someone is always listen, someone is always observing you who can is capable of blessing you. Huh? Listen, listen to this. The difference in your season is a person. Any day now, somebody gonna walk up. I'm talking about you. I know you 
take this as crazy. But I, and if people watching my Facebook and watching on YouTube, this ain't crazy. Somebody's gonna walk up the Lord said, I got a man gonna write you a hundred thousand dollar check. Any day now he's gonna walk up and tap me on the show and say, Guess what I done? I saw you on Facebook, I saw you on TV, I, I heard about your song, and I'm gonna bless you. Guess what I'm gonna do? You know, I'm gonna do like this. You don't got to bless me. No, no, sir, I cannot do this. For I'm to thy holy. For thou know if I can't do anything with it. For thou know I'm a loser. You think I'm going to stand there a man got a hundred thousand dollars check? Yeah, I'm going to give you some cash. And I'm going to give you just come out and I'm going to We're just, I'll blow the Holy Ghost off. I'm going to claim the money. I don't care where he comes from the, the casino. They got tell. God says, and all your stuff is laid up in the just there, I'm gonna move it around for you. I'm gonna shift your blessings around because it's in a person. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody get in the river this morning. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's blessings get ready to follow you. You're gonna shake. Listen, that's blessings that's gonna follow you. gonna shake hell. Because they're in people. But my faith schedule is there. Security this morning. How many know you've been secured by the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Come on, let listen to 
to me this morning. I'm trying to tell you, in his presence, it's going to change everything. Listen, in his presence, God says, if you're in his presence, he said, I'll take your enemy out. Right. You don't have to fight the battle. The battle's mine, but the victory's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Saul told David, said, you can't take that. He said, but you don't know who I am. Because I'm going to get in his presence. So I said, but you don't understand. That man that you get ready to go up against, he's a warrior from a child. I said, yeah, but he said, you don't understand. I done slayed the bear. <laughs> you don't understand. I done slayed the lion. I done got it. I done went out and took one. He tried to take me. I took it back. Come on, yeah. Then what happens is, ain't nobody got guts to go down there and fight him but a little boy. And guess what? He don't go down there by himself. He goes down there with the presence of God. Because right. he goes down there with confidence in his life. Because he's already seen what God's going to do. How many know God can do it? Yeah. Now, when you listen, listen to this next one. Enter into his thanksgiving. See, I got now lately, lately, on the back porch just wondering. I don't ask, I got another one that I told it when it's not a thing. I don't ask you for now, so I'm just going to thank you for what you give me. Because right. I know you got some big stuff that's fixing to hit, to get me to hit my life. Yeah. I said, I'm fixing to get a raise, but I don't know where it's coming from. Amen. I'm fixing to get, I'm, I'm fixing, somebody's going somebody to bless me, God. But I, hey, listen, I'm just thanking you for it. Come on. Come on. You understand that? Ain't that better than going for begging? Right. Oh God, right. one day when you get time, yeah. if you can just find me in your will and you find to see me. If you just know who I am, I'm a little guy on the hill, high top, live on the corner. Do you believe that? I don't receive that mess. Then you enter into his thanksgiving. Now, how many know God can renew you? Yeah. I'm being renewed daily. Now, these bones sometimes, I, you know, I was out in the yard the other day, we laughed about it, and the lawnmower quit, and this foot got taken up. I fell out of the yard like killed myself, and the phone flew over here and over yonder, and I'm laying out there, I said, you know, I got to kind of laugh at myself, fool. You know, fell out of here like you're drunk. I finally got up. But I'm still in his presence, even though he didn't feel like it. But we got new this this morning. How many have been new by the Word of God? Yeah. Now, this is a big one. How many have confidence in God? Yeah. Come on, you gotta have confidence in God. You gotta understand who you are. You gotta have some confidence in the Lord. Yeah. Huh? Not because somebody else. Listen, I, I, I'm glad he's got confidence. But that ain't gonna help me. It helps me in his testimony. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something about a testimony. Has anybody got a testimony this morning? Yeah. What's the three letters of? What's the first four letters of the testimony? You gonna get tested. You get the test. You can't have a testimony without a test. Does it make sense? You want to preach this? Come on now. You sure? Stop the off everything. <laughs> now say what do. What is this sound like? This sound like Romeo and Juliet. Where are all now, Romeo? I thought I'm over here. I'm just standing right here all about time. What four fifth hour Romeo? Stand down here in the bushes, hoping to see you. <laughs> no, I don't know why. Excuse me. But we got company in. But listen, okay, now how many know you ain't gonna do none of this unless you be endured? Right. When you put your hands to the plow, look back, you're not fit. This is for the kingdom of God. We ain't talking about church. That's right. We ain't talking about coming to church, but they ain't wrong with it. We're talking about the king. In the kingdom, everything changed. You understand that? So, but, but, you, but the man that puts his hands through the plow and looks back and says he's not fit. He didn't say he wouldn't go to heaven. Just said he ain't fit for the kingdom. So I ain't trying to get to the church. I, I want to be in the kingdom. How many want to be in the kingdom? So I need to be in the kingdom. Come on, you need to be in the kingdom this morning. Look, we look around this morning. We got about 30, about 35 people this morning, 25, whatever it is. But see, I can't look at that. I'm preaching to these empty chairs because there's angels here. I said, look, I, you, you catch me over here talking to a chair. Like, can you go back and tell God I'm ready for that blessing? And you said, he's over there talking to chairs. What y'all want to put in here? Because you don't understand. I got, I got, I, I, I've been assigned angels. I have ministry spirit that assigned to me that go off and do stuff for me. All I got to do is say, 
go about. That's right. Come on. You don't, you don't believe this works. It works. Amen. But you got to endure. Now, when you get through it all, this ain't all of But look what you got. You got his presence. That's in the kingdom. That ain't in the church. Now, Vern, can you come down this morning? You're going to be God this morning. I had him know he's black God. <laughs> you should have been here the, morning, the other night when he was black God. He was, he was speaking all kinds of things. He was crazy up in front of us. Man, you ought to hurt him. He went crazy. Did the brother, did he, did he go crazy? Hey, now, you God. Okay, let's turn the Bibles to Psalms. Jessica, we go to Psalms uh, 1611. Let's get it right. Yeah. Ain't he pretty? Everybody say he pretty. Look, look at that. Yeah. See, y'all ready to come up here with an attitude. See what I'm saying? Y'all ready to come up here trying to be split with you. Y'all ready to come up with an attitude to my Go ahead, go ahead. Y'all ain't get your swag on. Number seven, what are the numbers? Oh, he got confident. So you're right here then. Anybody, hey, 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 John, where you at on here? Pick one. What, what's the good to get you? Go. See, he's hard. He go hard for sure. But which one? I mean, which one would you want? Like, just pick one. He like peace. How about how about you? What you like? Okay, Joe. What, Joe. <laughs> which one you like, Joe? Okay, you you going to take the whole. Way. What about you? Which one would that be for you? Well, I'm into endurance. So okay, we'll take it. How about you? How about you, Mom? Renew. Can you see them? I can't even see them here. We're just, just pointing at the board then. She said, four, what is four? Oh, so, security, oh yeah. How about you, Sid? Five, what is five? Enter to his Thanksgiving. How about you, bro? Endure. How about you, Sid? Right here. Five, five. Okay. Ain't that so? But listen, okay, and this is what the Bible says. Thou will show me the path of life. There's a path that seemeth right, but it ain't the one path you need to be on. That's the path of God. But listen to what it says. In the path of life, in thy presence is fullness. How many know this morning there's a fullness that needs to be done in your life this morning? Yeah. Now I'm going to get some word. Go, God fix and speak here in a minute. Okay, in his presence is fullness of joy. Listen, that ain't that it ain't cause you think you got joy. It's his joy. Yeah. Your joy and his joy are two different things. We don't ever preach this stuff right. I say I got joy. You get you know, you know what I'm saying? You get a you get a house and you, and you love the house, but the payment come due. What are you joy? Oh. Six months. I don't know what I don't know what happened to that joy. Yeah. Man, that paper come to me. Man, look at here, man. I pay it. We, we pay, I'm just screwing you. Look, we pay it $700 a month. And that joy is short. I tell you one thing, that joy gets slack. <laughs> what a joy. But it ain't that kind of joy. It's the joy that's everlasting joy. Okay, and joy. At the right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. In his presence is fullness. Come on. Okay, Jesse, can we get her to uh, try mine? Psalms 9. Let me see if that's right. It might be wrong. Is it nine up there? Okay. Go, go to ten. Might be all. For thou will not leave my soul in hell. Listen, he ain't gonna leave me in hell. Some people say there ain't no hell. If he if listen, is this the word? Is this the word? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go to number uh, 12, Jesse. Go to 12. Let's see what we got. There's not a 12. Psalms 1612. There's not one. There ain't one. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make up one. Oh, yeah. Okay, go to, uh, go to uh, the Message Bible 1611. Let's see what the Message has to say about it. Is that the Message Bible? Now, you, you got my feet. Listen, he got my feet on the line path. Already from the from the shining of your faith 
Ever since you took my hand, I'm on the right way. I'm in the right way. You got ever, I mean, his presence. See what I'm saying? Now, we read all this. Listen, now, I got some other stuff here. Let me find this book right here. Let me find where I had it. I just didn't have a book. But listen, when I'm in his presence, my mind gets, gets healed. Yes. Huh? Listen, when I'm in his presence, I get a better attitude. Do I need to work on my attitude? <laughs> Can somebody throw this woman out of church? You're my friend. Huh? I'm your friend. I mean your friend. It's okay. Can't throw out. We'll wait till God leaves and then we'll throw out. We can't throw out my neck when he says he's in the presence. I know God can't say something. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? How God will interrupt you? When you think you're doing good, he'll walk up and start talking. He'll walk out and start speaking to you. See, some of you need God to speak to you. The, the uh, attributes of God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost, there ain't no fear. Come on. That's right. Come on. Huh? And listen, in His presence, everything doubles. How many need some double in your life? In His presence, let me tell you something else. Doubt, there ain't no doubt in His presence. That's right. Not in the church, there's doubt. In the church, they tell you you're bound. In the kingdom, you're free. In the church, you ain't gonna make it. In the kingdom, you deliver. Yes. In the church, you can't make it. You are all, you're dependent on the pastor. In the church, in the kingdom, you're dependent on God's presence. Yes. Listen, in the church, the pastor is all of it, but in the kingdom, God says he's, he's down the road. Come on, come on, come on. Not taking away from the pastor. Don't get me wrong. If somebody be able to read, but he had to pass. I didn't say it, but you ain't God. I'm standing here this morning telling you, I ain't your God. Come on. Amen. That's right. Amen. Mm. I can blow them just like you. Come on. Do you understand that this morning? Yeah. Huh? Listen to this. In his presence, there ain't no doubt. In his presence, I love this. There's purpose. Do you know you get purpose? You ain't no accident hanging around. Come on. In his purpose, that's destiny. I'm getting to you in a minute. Now, say, Father, we're getting to you in a minute. Huh? See what I'm talking about? I'm about sick of that. You get up here and try to do the right thing, dress up, try to look good, and then you got somebody trying to put you down. See what I'm saying? Trying to make sure. It ain't just your wife, it's God. And then your wife thinks she's God. And I ain't gonna hate God, but I got a problem this morning. No, I'm about to, I'm about to. I'm I, I, I got an attitude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You gonna drive me and smoke in the Marlboro. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Somebody didn't say, well, he shouldn't say that. Huh? Come on. But in his presence, I got destiny. Do you understand it? Does this make sense? Yes. Yeah. Then listen, in his presence, it's listen, it ain't how you listen, this is very God. It ain't how you see me. But the way you see me, probably ain't gonna be right anyway. But it's how he sees me. If I'm on my job, it don't make no difference how you see me. Because if he's purpose and put me there, I he gonna see me right. Does that make sense? Now, when we say all this, and it's, it's 10 minutes past 12, and, and, and you know, people are ready to go anyway. Three words, three words. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Everywhere I, God shows up, he, he, he brings a presence that changes things. Huh? Listen, when Jesus, 
I said this Tuesday night, Wednesday night. When Jesus was born, did he make a presence? He changed some stuff, didn't he? And then the Holy Ghost is inside of you and I to make a present. Now, if you want to get mad, is anybody mad about what I said about the word? Anybody mad? Well, it ain't my fault, no way. You want to blame? Blame him. It's his fault. It's that, it's that, it's that God we got. Now, look, I'm not talking about everything that I just read you, everything I told you is yours. It's in the kingdom. You know who's thought it is? It's him. If you got a problem, don't tell me it's my problem. Tell him. Tell black God. <laughs> or white God. Or whatever color God you think he is. <laughs> Be poking out it. But it ain't my fault. I just tell you what the word says you can be. Because he wrote it. Listen, he can't even go against his own word. Oh, what do you got to say about it, God? You ain't gonna lie to me, hey. Can I have what you said? You sure? I approve your message. <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 say can you say a little bit louder than my phone? I approve your message. He approved my message. I'm just telling you what you can walk in and who you'll be. You ain't the tail, you the head. You ain't the need, you the overcome. Huh? Because God says, I can have what he says. Yeah. Listen, I now, I got your feet. You don't even know how to, you don't even know how to keep your foot on the ground, but I do. I know how to stabilize you so you are prosperous, understanding, and who you are in God. There's a presence that will come in this room. Let me tell you something. You will never be what God has intended you to be till you take on His attributes and His presence. And God tells you that you want you need to be in the kingdom of God. You understand that? Listen, you might have a bad marriage. That way you can't have a good one with somebody. Why am I saying that, Lord? God help me. You might have one that was a hell raiser from hell. Amen. But that don't mean you can't find somebody that will love you, treat you like you need to be treated. Amen. Come to see the king. Yeah. Right. Huh? Then put, I ain't put on. What is it you ask for you don't get? Name one thing that this. Fine specimen don't give me. <laughs> some people say, well, he ought not say it. Well, somebody need to say it. Huh? You don't want me to get my, my temptation stuff on here. Y'all ain't know who temptation is. Come on. Anybody know who temptation is? Just stop. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see that? Come on, you don't tell me. Somebody do it. Someone said that to me. But God, I love it, but I don't want to say it. I love it when they when say it like that. And it was, hey, I just tell you straight up, I like it. Uh, it ain't gonna change who I am. I'm just gonna get in the group. Right? Come on, somebody, come on, come on. So you don't, you don't see. This is what, this is what a real people really want to pass. Be real tight. I can't say that because if I say that, I'm not going to live. You make me sick. You make me completely sick. Drive up in the parking lot and you got Out. You know I'm telling the truth. But I tell you what you do. 
I tell you what, I've done this. God love eternal in his presence. Oh, we all stand at the call wash in his presence. There's fullness of joy today. You hear all the cars. Cut that down. You can't hear that. I'm serious. You hear all the back cleaners stop. The guy's in the back seat, you know, he ain't come out in 30 minutes back and said, who's that? <laughs> You're not telling the truth. Come in his presence. Come on. Listen, you can drive up in hell, and the people in hell don't know who he is. <laughs> you don't stay about to take over his presence, come on. God's going to do something great in your life. God's going to make a difference in your life. Come on. The presence of God will change you. is good, but his presence makes the difference. Come on now. Come on now, let's be real this morning. You go down on the corner and the guy said that ain't had to need 10 days. You try to tell him about God. He said they need another drink. He's in DT. You try, let me tell you what God can do. He said that shaking. You know what I can do? You won't like what I'm getting ready to say. You won't like it because you will say to God, I can give him a drink to calm him down so I can talk to him. Oh, amen. You say, well, that ain't God. You don't know where he's at. Come on. His stomach said they're going to do me for so long. <laughs> and you try to tell him he needs a cheeseburger. To calm him down so you can tell him how And then you got to build a rapport with him. So in his presence, he said, I need this change. Come on. We were in a church for years. We went down on the street every week and got hundreds of get what those going right to church. We don't want them. We just want the number count so my check will be bigger. But in his presence this morning. We're talking about his presence this morning. But listen, I'm gonna get back to God now. If you got any fault at all about the word and about this and what I said, it's his fault. He's the one to blame. Because he's the one established. He's the one gave you the peace. He's the one gave you the receiving. He's the one gave you establishment. He gave you the security. In his thanksgiving, he's the one who renews your mind. So he's the one gave you the confidence and he's the one gave you the ability to endure. Come on. You got any fault, blame God. What do you say about it, God? You got anything? Peace, God. <laughs> Come on. Amen. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to tell you something this morning. We're trying to function with no presence. Right. Right. Uh, and some of these ministers and the elders, uh, listen, you need some of them. I wish some of them would say, okay, we're going to keep on. We're going to let tell me your side of your presence. Listen, I just ask this question. What has this presence done for you? Think about that. What has his presence, not my presence, your presence, but what has his presence done for you in the last 30 days? If you had, a, if you had to speak as God, what would you tell the people about your presence? Joy. Thank you. You found peace in me. Find joy. Go ahead. Stand Go ahead. And, and one thing that I I, I, I urge you, you know, when you learn of me, you, you, you when you learn of me, you'll be able to bless my name on Christ. But wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So over, let me say, yeah, yeah. God. Oh, well, man, you God. I'm and God. you just said I can spend some stuff that I ain't got in it. Exactly. When you learn oh, it, you'll bless my name on Christ. Oh, so I got to, uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a second. You need to tell you, you ain't giving me no credit card with your name on it, is you? Uh, this is God getting here. You so this just say this is God credit. So you're gonna give me a card with all my blessings on. All, you all I gotta do is, is get in the line. Yeah. Yeah. So all I don't swipe it. What I swipe it at, sir? Your faith. But my faith. Hey. Come on, go back. Yeah. So I'm spinning this. So I ain't spinning, I'm spinning what you said. So I got extra many years. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. 
You know something? He had that back. <laughs> <laughs> See, let me tell you something. Can I show you something very powerful? This is what he said. When you hand him this, this is God. When you this, this is for somebody. When you hand him this, he says, I'll hand you that. Wow. Wow. Man, I, I think we can go home now, man. But look, when I hand you all. And I, I trust you. Listen, I ain't trusted because I ain't got no sin. But if I'm in you and I trust you with my, all my got back and stuff, then you will trust me with your stuff. Yes. Come on. Yes. Uh, God speaks in a service. I've seen it happen. God said, I know people that God spoke to soil $500. They won't ride. Not, they, they won't eat. Well, it's been a couple times. But in uh, other services I've been that I've had, and God said, do this right here. And they won't ride and miss it. Because they didn't trust God, they trusted in their stuff. And that's the thing, so it's hard when you call for it. Amen. Because you look at it and say, well, there ain't nothing in there. He said, I know, but if you give it to me, I'll put some in there. That's right. Then somebody get blessed, and you say, well, I wonder why I ain't blessed. Because they give. Stressed out, shaking up, running over. If you try me, if you try me in my presence, watch what I do. He said, I will rebuke the devourer. I get out there, rebuke the devourer. He said, and that, that sucker, that's that seed eater, I'll cancel him. Because in his presence, it changes everything about me. Listen. The one of the biggest things is how do you see yourself. Huh? I've done a lot of things in the world that could have intimidated me, but I didn't let it intimidate me. When I walked, when we went to TV and all the big boys showed up on their limousines, I showed up. What I showed up in an RV with two dogs. <laughs> And Ruru go, I said, I ate my dog. And Donna, she done tore the seats down, trying to get out. She said, what is that? I said, that's my little dog. You show up your limousine, but I showed up because I know who I am. When I spoke, I knew who I was. That's why it changes things. Because in his presence, I know I'm different. I didn't come for your money. I didn't come. I come to tell you, God said, God, everything about you is fixing to change. In his presence, because I'm a kingdom kid. Yeah. I'm a kingdom man. I thank King, I love King, I talk King. I'm kingdom. I'm kingdom. Straight in, straight out, straight up, straight down. Preach, man. Preach. See what I'm telling you? That's what I am. I ain't churchy. I'm not come to be a church man. I come to be a kingdom man. So when I speak, all hell shake. Since then, that guy is a hated. Good. Hang in here. We got a house. Broke by and looked at it. I tell the story. I said, that's our house. She said, ain't you no for sale sign. You don't know who we are. Right. Not saying I shouldn't say it that way. But I should say, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? I said, he told her we're going to live there. Amen. So I started back, you know. I wish I could do You know what I mean? I could do that. You know, I wish I could move like I used to. I used to move. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I used, to, I used to get my thing on, you know what I'm saying? I used to you see me across the parking lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I'm a king's kid. Who what rope you got in your hand? The hands up low. But he told me I could have it. Guess what? I could say, oh no, that's not for me. That's not for me. I said I'm gonna claim this. Come to find out God knows all kinds of people to help me. All I done is pick it up. Did it happen? I got people mad right now. They're mad. Because you should be blessed the way you are. You mad now? Uh oh. Oh. If you mad now, you wait. If you mad now, wait till he got some more presents on me. You mad now, wait in God. He like me. Uh, he God. I said, 
Look at this say. I look just like. He said, how do you look like a check the book? He said, I made you a man. Can you believe this? Can you believe this woman blessed like this? Is this my best side of it? What side of it? No, I've got all of it to good. See, some of you, see, if you talk to yourself like that, get up and say, hey, you know what? Buddy, you got it going on. You, you look, you a rock and roll. This is about getting on one day. Lucky God, I know it. I'm so, I'm so, yes, I'm so, this is, this will be people, you know what? There's people watching my Facebook right there, be mad. God, they say, you shouldn't talk like that. What, what if I can't talk like you? Because I don't know how to talk like that. I've been trained, my mind's been renewed by the Lord of God. My mind tells me I can do all things through Christ. My God will tell me, great to see the same need as he can see the world. So I got the power. I hate you ain't got no power, but I have. Yeah, I hate you ain't got no confidence. I got it. Does that mean you're going to have days you can push yourself through? Yeah. Does that mean days of hell don't come against you? That means that people don't come, don't come try to come against you. Don't say this, don't do that, this, that. I got people in the job that do it all the time. But let me tell you, that ain't who I live out of. I live out of his presence because in God, he said you can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. He didn't say you. Listen to this one. This is happened yesterday. I'm staying on the back porch. Why is it being? The Lord said to me, now you, you don't, don't get mad. So go get mad. He said, are you ready? I said, yeah. He said, no. Uh -uh. Are you really ready? I said, then I said, I said, I said I don't want to be churchy. If you say I'm ready. If, if thou say if I'm ready. I'm ready. Remember the property and I? You know the Lord. Okay. I don't want to say church. Say church. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Remember going for it. You mean anybody heard? You remember Ernest T. Bass? Oh, Ernest T. Bass. Yeah. Ernest T. Bass. yeah. Remember Ernest T? All he could do was throw a rock. Everything Ernest did was throw a rock. You couldn't keep him in jail if you tried. But the Lord said, are you ready? I said, yeah, I'm ready. He said, are you sure? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. If you say I am. He said, I'm fixing to make you a multi-millionaire. I said, you kid out of you all. I said, you fix it. He said, because I've already planned for you. He said, but there's a stipulation to this. It ain't for you. I ain't got no problem. I give him that. Don't have a problem. Don't have a problem. I'm going to give him big, give him big. Give him big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's not going to make you a big. What, what's wrong with that? That's better than being poor, ain't it? Anybody ever been poor? Oh, yeah. Anybody ever been poor? Oh, yeah. That's too different. Poor. Oh, yeah. huh? ain't, ain't that something? Listen to it. Just, just conversation for 30 seconds. Uh, Don't that, does that sound like God? Ain't that something? Ain't that buddy you didn't sit around think you ain't going to do nothing? He told me I'm going to be a multi-man. He told me I'm going to get a house. I got it. I'm looking for it. I said, you, so he's already telling me now, I'm reading it to God. I'm reading what God, he said, I'm already speaking to people. But it ain't for you. I'm going to give this to you so you can do better, more ministry. Come on. I better give more. I better get more. I better give more. And, and, and really bless the kingdom of God the way it needs to be blessed. Huh? God, if it's his, if, 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 if God does it, don't blame me, blame him. I just want to throw this question. How many people, how many, everybody raise your hand. How many really, this morning, check yourself, or is really walking where God wants you to walk? Come on. But honestly, can you raise your hand this morning? I'm going to raise mine because I know I am. 
I can raise my hand this morning and say I'm walking where God wants me to walk. Are you walking where God wants you to walk? Come on. Is anybody here that lift your hand this morning and say, I'm walking where God. You might not understand where you are, but you're walking where God. Come on. If you believe what I'm telling you, everybody in this room is walking where God. You've been divine purpose by God to walk where you're walking. would understand it. You couldn't fail to try. That ain't in the church. That's in the kingdom. You know what the church will do for you? Keep you in bondage. And I'm not saying don't come to church. We're talking about kingdom. Kingdom over trumps the church. Do you know kingdom words and kingdom words and kingdom power over trumps everything in the land? Why do, I just want to ask you something, God. Why would you do this if you weren't expecting a return? Tell me why you would do all this, write all this, die on the cross, give people that uh, your, your uh, disciples die, they write the word because you the Holy Ghost, you, you make Jesus the Holy Ghost, you make the stars, you make, why would you do all this if you wasn't expecting something back? Just want the glory. Just want the glory. Ain't that something? How many of you believe you're kingdom? Come on, can you lift your hands if you're kingdom? See, in the kingdom, everything takes on a different identity. You don't have no identity. You're Christ-like. You have Christ attributes. You got the Holy Ghost attributes. Would you agree with that, Mama? You sure? You got to go home with God now. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Does this make sense? Does, it, does anything I said this morning, does it make sense? Why would we live less when he has the more? Listen, if, if that's the thing. I'm on this side. What I need is on this side. Why would I stand and prop up on the fence for 40 years, look at it and say, I can't never have it. And there it is. And God said, what would you say, God, if, if I wanted? What would you say to me? Get it. God says, I have annihilated hurdles in your life, but you keep putting them back. It's not me that puts the hurdles. It's you. It's time. We're talking about all of us. If there is any hurdle in life, we the one did. And people don't believe that. Huh? Come on, man. You got anything else you'd like to say, God, before you leave? Say it real loud. Yeah. Walk in your authority. Walk in your authority. Now, in his, you know how you're going to get that authority? In his presence. Amen. And some of might need this morning, but it ain't much of a mess. I can't help it. To the loo. To the loo, loo. I'm just telling you, you need to understand who you are. You carry something that the average person don't carry. Listen, I can stay here all day. You ain't defeated, but you say you are. It won't change nothing until you pick it up. This is the feat. This is the overcoming power. The feat. Overcoming power. Which one would you choose? Which one would you choose, Joe? Okay, take overcoming power. Now, you just moved in a whole different realm. Ain't that better to walk around carrying three suitcases of luggage? Well, this one done me this way. This one done me like this. I was done like this. What is that going to help you? Uh -huh. It ain't going to change anything. You got, you got the power now to speak like God. Tell Job, God, tell Job to speak like you. Speak like you, son. Come on. Listen, can I tell you to stand up? And the Lord got a word for you this morning. You ain't here by accident. You didn't know you were going to get a word, did you? Oh, you did? Hey, oh, a big boy, you're going to get one. Since you're expecting one.
since you, since you uh, all that in a bag of chips, come on now. But this is what the Lord said. Don't you ever look at yourself like you blessed anybody. Hey, God. Come on. The Lord says, tell you this. I know, I know why he's doing it. He says, you're not here by accident this morning. You're here on the viper. He says, I'm going to bless you. This is what he said. This, and I'm going to tell you, you got to check me on this one. He said, and want your daddy a preacher? The not that was on your daddy, he said, I'm going to give you this. Ah. That's what he said. Oh. Did your daddy come all around and act like he was defeated? No, he didn't. Or did you walk around like he was defeated? Don't make no sin. Ain't it crazy? You want to have a conversation about crazy? But guess what? I'll be right there with you. Do you know who you are in God? No, don't. You don't? I'm being honest. But you are. He sent you this morning to tell you, you got the goods. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, the Lord that was on your dad is on you. Ain't that something? See how it shifts? Huh? Ain't that something? Huh? You, you, you want to hold what you said? You believe your daddy's in heaven? You believe your daddy's in the cloud of witnesses? He said, guess who, guess who your daddy's praying for? Joe. Big Joe. Not little Joe, but big Joe called Joe in the king. Come on. Get all this attention. All you crazy stuff. In the past, see the in the future. Does that sound like God sees? Yes, sir. Thank you. Keep up on it. Well, what would it? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. See, I, I'm going to go back to what I read earlier. So, if, you, if he spoke to you, someone is always observing you. Who is capable of blessing you? <laughs> Always. So that must be you. Is that you? That's you, big man. Not little man. Big. Big man. See, you're bigger than you see yourself. God, can you tell him he's the man? The man. You're the man. Ain't that something? I know it's something you probably show people say, that's crazy. I can kill this. Forget you. Did you get your house yet? You work on it. Give me a hand, Mom. You're working on it. But you believe what God said about your house? You fixing it. You be ready to shake on it, ain't you? Say I'm shaking in. Come on. Come on now. That sounds funny. I ain't on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. You know why you can do that? Because God put a word over you. And listen, you can have all the words, but if you don't receive the word, it ain't going to happen. Anybody understand what I'm saying this morning? Huh? You still look at the house? You, you, know, you, you know the house is in it. Hold on, let's check the fragrance. Yep, I smell it. Ain't that something? Send the man. <laughs> Call me Snoop Dogg. <laughs> uh, you take a line. I got, you won't believe it. I, I go to places and I get out. I don't sound crazy. Because the people that right, I get out looking at a property out there. I know people say, get that guy all right. I said, I'm sniffing out the chemical <laughs> by the fragrance of God. Amen. You ought to try that. You'd be surprised what you get. Is it true, man? <laughs> I know what you think about it. I know what you think. Man, how do I wind up in a place like this with a man that's too crazy? Is that what you thought? I know it looks all up. Yes, he is. Do you? You know, you, no, you ain't been sniffing that. You just, Lord, oh, man, man. You know, I'm glad to rock down. I heard somebody, it's like an echo. That was you. Good God, you got some big knobs. But you were sucking in all kinds of stuff. Finances. 